Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Happy Thursday. Thursday, September 9th, 2021. Just finished up the Rosh Hashanah New Year, the holiday, and we're back at work. I got back to my, I got to my office this morning around, around 6.30 in the morning, and I find these at my door. Presents. Presents. Look at all these presents. This is a present too, by the way. Got that a little while ago. Mikey Pipes coffee mug. Very nice. We'll start from the right to the left. This is by Nebo. It's a flashlight. Recordable. I mean, recordable. Rechargeable. This is a gift from Thermocare. Mikey Pipes. I couldn't help but send you this after watching you work with that Goodman furnace with that big black thing in your mouth. <laughs> this is the last flashlight you'll ever need. Enjoy. From David. Dave. From Thermocare. Thank you so much. I'm going to charge this up. We're going to use that today. I think this gift is for Daniel, son. A gift for you. Enjoy the gift. Good luck with the new job. I like watching the YouTube videos from Jay. Thank you so much, Jay. And again, I think this is geared toward Daniel, son. And last but not least, uh, Chris. Thank you so much for sending this. Mike, I'm an AC contractor here in Florida. I came up with this product to reduce our drain callbacks. Even sippy cups could unclog a drain with this product. Give me a call and let me know what you think. We have these teas by Diversitec, condensate drain service port teas. We have a nozzle with the special gun. It appears that this is going to fit over that or into the tea. Let's see. I'm trying to do this one handed. Yep, into the tea. Perfect. Yep, clears that. Beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. I like this. And you can also hook it up to your um, your nitrogen tank. You know, I have the drain cat. I think this will work very well, the drain cat. Perfect. Look at that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I love this stuff. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate that. We're going to try this out on future service calls. All right. This morning, uh, we have a dilemma. I have a customer that called the other day, uh, Tuesday night to be exact, told me that he has a blower error on his carrier infinity communicating system for his master bedroom, one of five for his home, blower motor error. We also have another customer with the same exact blower motor error. We re recorded part of that video on Monday. Daniel's son's gonna take the new ECM 2.0 uh, one horsepower motor there, and actually three quarter, I think it is, three quarter horsepower motor there. Uh, he's gonna fix that unit, and I'm gonna go to the other service call. All right, stay tuned. Let's have some fun oh, today. We got one more thing that came in the mail. That was a card. Put this on my door. So all the letters go. And notes, love notes. A wish at Rosh Hashanah, year 5781. Very nice. From the moment it starts to the moment it's through. Hope the new year, new year will bring you many blessings. Shana Tova, wishing you good, happy, good health, happy, peace. <laughs> wishing you good health, happiness, peace, and prosperity in the upcoming year. Randy B, a YouTube viewer. Thank you so much, Randy. Shana Tova, happy and healthy. All right. Cannot communicate with blower. All right, error 44. Let's see what happens. All right, let's check out the last service errors. 127 times. Cannot communicate with blower. It's on the ninth. That's all the errors. And then back in June, we had an indoor, an outdoor communicating fault. An outdoor, low pressure switch open. When was that? That was in, wow, well, they had the uh, air conditioning on in December 20th, 2020, and low pressure switch makes sense. All right. Okay. All right, let's check voltage at the motor. All right, there's my ECM 2.5 blower motor. It's a half ton. Sorry, it's a half horsepower. Uh -huh. I don't know what's wrong with me today. 
I got my leads on C and V, and they're reversed, but I have 12.5 volts DC there. So I'm getting proper voltage. We got a bad motor. All right, one of the first things I'm gonna do is take some scratchy paper, 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 clean off all the rust on the shaft. That's gonna let me slide this thing off easier. Get in there. I'm gonna also take some WD-40 and spray that down. Get all that rust out. It's gonna prevent smooth removal. All right, take out the set screw and let's undo the other side. All right, I have the motor removed from the blower wheel. I used this Subco fan blade puller, which is pretty good. I have much success with this. I've had it for about 10, 15 years. I leave a little bit left on there. Hopefully the rest will slide right off. Let's see it. She slid right off. Now, this is the ECM 2.3, sorry, 2.5 motor. And we're gonna put in this PSC motor with the quick swap V3. All right, so I have a new PSC 240 half horsepower blower motor there. And I wired up the wire is nice and neat and clean zip ties. There's my 10 microfarad capacitor for the new motor. Here's the uh, quick swap V3 by Meishin Engineering. This is now the second time I'm using this. And of course, I learned about this from the community. And this system here is out of warranty. The manufacture date is 2009, it was installed in 2010. And unfortunately, um, through a year outside of warranty. So power just went off. Let's go see what's going on at the thermostat. All right, the home water turned off. Stat, all right. So let me show you the rest of the quick swap V3. All right, here's the quick swap V3. I have L1, L2 coming into here. That's 100, uh, 240 volts. This is my DC communicating wires. As you can see, it's plug and play. This senses ambient temperature, and I have my uh, line voltage connections for my fan, common, high speed, medium, and low. That's all there. I'm gonna take a zip tie and just secure this maybe onto the uh, foil over there so they can get a good sensor. Uh, we'll see. But very, very easy. Great, great product. You can earn a pinch. You know, you have these very expensive ECM 2.5 motors. This is a great, great solution. And this swaps out any failed variable airflow ECM 2.2.3, 2 2.5, .2 or 3.0 with a PSC uh, permanent split capacitor motor. And just like the high systems have. Great, great, great product. Not a sponsor of the channel. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. What do you guys use? Would you go with the OEM? Johnstone didn't have it. CE Northeast was three to five days away. I had this in the truck with a half horsepower motor, which is right over there. That's my staging area. That's where I set everything up. Getting it done.